Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Photos: Michelle leaves viewers disgusted with never-before-seen Instagram pics. Former First Lady Michelle Obama has left viewers in disgust with some never-before-seen photos that she posted on Instagram. Take a look at the many pictures for yourself. Remember that $65 million book deal the Obamas signed mere weeks after being booted from the White House? Well, Michelle has finally released the long-awaited cover photo for her memoir, and let's just say viewers aren't exactly impressed. Michelle revealed the cover of her new memoir along with never-before-seen photos that will be featured in the book, according to Daily Mail. The portrait, taken earlier this year in Washington, D.C., shows the former first lady beaming from ear to ear with the book's title printed overhead. Mrs. Obama shared the photo on her social media platforms Thursday, explaining that the process of writing this book has been so personally meaningful and illuminating for me. She selected the cover for her book jacket from a photo shoot with renowned photographer Miller Mobley. Leading up to the book cover reveal, Michelle shared four personal photos on Instagram, all of which she says are a part of the story that has shaped her. As I prepare to share Becoming this fall, I hope you'll also think about your own story, and trust that it will help you become whoever you aspire to be. Your story is what you have, what you will always have. It is something to own," she wrote. So, it appears that life outside the White House hasn't served to ground Michelle Obama or make her down to earth. As evidenced by her social media posts this week, she is still the same race-baiting, ungrateful broad we came to loathe during the eight years her husband was in office. One photo shows then Michelle Robinson with her parents in their cramped apartment in Chicago. My father, Fraser, taught me to work hard, laugh often, and keep my word. My mother, Marion, showed me how to think for myself and to use my voice. Together, in our cramped apartment on the south side of Chicago, my family helped me see the value in our story, in my story, and in the larger story of our country," she captioned the photo. Another picture shows a young Michelle at Princeton University in the early 1980s. This is me at Princeton in the early 1980s. I know that being a first-generation college student can be scary, because it was scary for me. I was blackened from a working-class neighborhood in Chicago, while Princeton's student body was generally white and well-to-do. I'd never stood out in a crowd or a classroom because of the color of my skin before," she wrote. Michelle also described details of her wedding day in the caption of an image from 25 years ago. You can't tell it from this photo, but Barack woke up on our wedding day in October. 1992 with a nasty head cold. Somehow, by the time I met him at the altar, it had miraculously disappeared and we ended up dancing almost all night," she wrote. Have you noticed that we never hear Melania Trump complain about her less than glamorous upbringing? She had it much harder than Michelle growing up with communist parents in Slovenia. Only after she busted her butt to earn a genius visa and immigrated to the United States did Melania experience any real freedom. Hers is a true rags-to-riches story but we never hear her opining about cramped apartments or working-class neighborhoods. So, it comes as no surprise that not everyone was impressed with Michelle's pictures, and her critics took to Twitter to let her know how tired they are of seeing her ugly mug. The American people are sick and tired of the Obamas at this point, particularly Michelle, who refuses to shut up long enough for us to forget about her. We were forced to put up with them for eight long years while they inhabited the White House. Now, we just like them to go away. Thank you very much. It isn't typical for a former president and first lady to try so desperately to stay in the spotlight even after they leave the White House. We almost never hear from the Carters or the Bushes, unless they are doing some sort of bipartisan charity work. The Obamas, on the other hand, have seemingly been clamoring for every new photo op and paycheck they can get their hands on since they were booted from the People's House upon President Donald Trump's inauguration. $65 million book deal, lucrative speaking engagements, a new partnership with Netflix worth so much they won't even release the dollar figure to the public, did these people not get their fill after shamelessly spending taxpayer money for the better part of a decade? Apparently not. Apparently, they're going to ride this gravy train as long as they possibly can. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.